Hi, my name's Ava. I'm Travis. And you are watching the Voices post credit producer director commentary. So I was the director for most of it and And I was the producer. Yes. Yeah, so I actually really like the intro, even though most of the stuff was random stuff we were capturing when we were using the It was the unplanned. <laughs> so what we did was we went for a recce of the location that we'll be filming at and took some shots on the drone. Yeah, we were literally testing out the drone, but then in edit, it kind of just made an intro. Yeah. That's what well. And I like the black and white. Um, so yeah, the reason why I kind of made it black and white was so it makes that old school feeling of like 1900s horror movies. Like between the 60s and 50s. Yeah. 50s? 70s? I thought it was 70s. 70s. Yeah, that old. Whenever um, my inspiration came from The Shining, so whenever that was released. Yeah. University. So this is the first scene, first act. Mm. Okay, so originally we planned to shoot this at the university. However, because mm. of the pandemic and COVID restrictions, we had to make this scene into a Skype call because we would have just had too many um, bodies on set. And yeah. we'd have broke a lot of health and safety. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fines. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just really liked, oh yeah, I really liked this scene. Putting it together was so easy as well. Um, bearing in mind, this is reminding me of the very end of Post when I actually forgot to change this scene. Because this wasn't the original, oh, we had so many actors in yeah. and out all the time. So again, because of COVID, um, a lot of actors did drop out, so we had to keep recasting. And that meant that we had to reshoot a few scenes because um, sometimes they would drop out of the production half, like halfway through. Literally at the end, <laughs> at the end of yeah. one of the few, last few scenes that we had to shoot, someone dropped out. So um, we just had to go back and reshoot. <laughs> and I almost left the old actor in this scene, <laughs> which was uh, playing Bailey. Yeah. So my inspiration from it. this was um, okay, cut him some slack. Unfriended as well. If you ever watch Unfriended, that was a really good scene. Oh yeah, you forced me to watch that. One. Yeah, so it's literally a whole film on Skype, but then yeah, they made it look so nice. Whatever he's going through, it's affecting our education right now. I say we come out of the group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Atosh. I mean, one of you that just need to sort him out. Gabe, you're his best friend after all. Yeah, Gabe, have you tried talking to him? Is there okay, so bear in mind, I mean, this is the these actors are amateur actors, so they haven't actually been in anything he yeah. big yet. Well, not big, but yeah. that, the, um, a so, few of them has experience. I'd say Bailey was the only person that did Gabriel have... had no experience whatsoever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was Gabriel yeah. had yeah, stepped in last minute. Bailey's been in some stuff and April's been, she does actually do stage acting. How does she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a really good YouTube channel of just her in front of a screen. And I was like, ooh. But yes. they pulled it off so well. Mm. I mean, we only did that take for the university scene, like maybe two times. Yeah. Mm. So, yep, we got it. Perfect. No need to. <laughs> Okay, so this part introduces the main character, Jason. With all the flashbacks <laughs> of his former life, former girlfriend. So sad. so sad. I actually enjoyed being in the mind of him here when I was editing this with all the uh, blurs and making it look like drunk and disorientated. I really like that effect. I'm just getting into his mind of hearing. Can you imagine like hearing someone's voice in your head yeah. over and over again, like not knowing how they how did how how it ended? Did I shoot this bit? 
Yes, you did. Okay, don't explain it to me. <laughs> Why? Um, you can tell which bits I shot and which bits you shot because yours looks a lot more professional. And then mine's a bit, <laughs> where's the camera moving to? <laughs> no, but it really worked for this yeah. part because he, he, he was drunk. So I just used that um, to its fullest because it yeah. just made sense. So I think it's a lucky thing that you shot. Yeah, that. I planned it too. Mm. Like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, putting these shots together weren't so bad. Yeah, April, gone. Don't want to hear nothing. What was funny was, during the shoot, I actually forced him to drink. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, how do you expect me to act whilst I'm drunk? <laughs> That's my favourite part. The... The transition from the TV into the game. Yeah. And then just just being inside Jason's head while while editing was just it was it was it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing because you could just do so much stuff with it. And then that just being into the game and then going into his head. Yeah. It was uh yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Uh, okay. Dinner scene. This is Gabriel and Tate. This is where I learned the most about Premier, because oh the lighting effects yeah you can actually have spotlights like you got in here yeah and like mimic that inside the video so make it look like, like they're in a studio yeah Rather that was just yeah. that was mind blowing because I didn't know that was there and like changing the actual colors as well but it's really hard to actually match the colors sometimes between the different shots because um. This room, if you remember, was bright with sunlight. <laughs> yeah. This, this it was, was a sunny there's day. There's no ambience. <laughs> it was the one day that it was really sunny. Yeah. And we like, just wanted it to look kind of dull. So, so yeah, it was it was stressful, but... I like this close up. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I only wish that I did more with that. Quite um, close up. Yeah. I've... Change the camera. A bit. Pouring the drink and everything. Oh. I was so sure I got that. But I'm pretty sure I did, but the, I think the camera just lost yeah. lost the footage. I think we had a lot of technical difficulties <laughs> on the day. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, where's the pouring a the drink? There's supposed to be a close-up of him pouring a drink. Da, 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 da. But um, yeah, I wish I made that scene longer with him actually um, feeling like he wants to fully stab her. Yeah. On, it, on his face, I think we, it was too short. Yeah, it was too short. And I really, yeah, I really like this of April, that, this shot of her, like, she's fully finally scared, noticing fully, yeah, 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 yeah. So, she's like, this guy's kind of mad, you know? Yeah. So when I wrote this, I initially wanted April to just disregard Gabriel most of the time. And then this scene is the only one where she's actually yeah. paying attention. She's forced her. Is she going to hold her hand? Is she going to hold her hand? And she does. I think everyone's just like, oh, you idiot. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> red flag. Yeah, isn't it? Re big red flag. Big red flag. Um, but I think that's why you did it that way. Cause, yeah. See, the audience just doesn't know who to trust. Yeah. Everyone's sauced. <laughs> <laughs> the whole cast is sus. Oh yes, this scene. This scene um, always freaks me out. It's Maya. Is this scene Maya? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting ready. Yeah, I like these cuts as well. Because it was so long for him to tie that head that headpiece. <laughs> oh my life! I was watching it. I was like, bro. Okay, we're just gonna cut this. But it's fine because he's meant to be drunk anyway, so. Everything oh, he yeah, does, he does it slowly. Day, it? Yeah, when he's struggling to even like... <laughs> Gets into bed and looks at the photo again. Like he's proper obsessed with this girl. Still thinking about her constantly on, her, on his mind. Again, bright ass day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like it's night. Love it. Hear that creepy voice. Yeah. It's that look back, even though he's seen her and he's about to turn around, he look he looks back again. 
like, nah. like go away <laughs> This was fun to shoot as well because of the fact that he was the same side on the bed. Yeah. But when he turned, it made him look like he's on the other side of the bed. Yeah. Um, so did you have to flip deceiving. the screen? Yeah, so he, like... you just mirror it when he turns. But it's making it convincing that was a problem for when he turned. Yeah. Like blending it. So right um, in this part was the hardest because I'm not lovey-dovey. So I was th trying to think. In Jason's mind. You love your moist I stuff, do not. Man. But like, I tried to think, what would he say to someone that he lost time? He loved. God. And you tortured him with that big ass monologue. Gave him a monologue. <laughs> we had to cut so <laughs> many times. <laughs> which made the process of editing hard again. Yeah. Because we didn't get enough shots of him getting off the bed. So it just looked weird. <laughs> but I love creating that ghost effect. That was so... So good. Looks really cool. So good. Couldn't do it again though. Could not for the life of me do it again. <laughs> but it's thankfully this is the only scene where I made it look like that because as you said, you wanted it to be like the best memory. Yeah. Of when she died. Mm. And she's like, yo, find the, truth. find the truth. And then she just disappears. Like, <laughs> what truth? I feel like we should have emphasized more of that throughout though. Of like finding the truth. If you could make it longer, it would have been good. This is April's big scene. April, where you get to see her being annoying. Yeah, which is annoying throughout it. So, more the character April. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you showered? <laughs> Nasty. Yeah, I love, I love this. I think this was the most irritating scene for me because I had to get all the props. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, I walked well, into a Well, to be shop. honest, Dana was a drinker anyway, so he had most of the drinks. But most of the cans I had to get. So I oh, walked you into got the, the shop cans. at 9am oh, yeah, in the morning and I was like, to the shopkeeper, I need shopkeeper, I need cans. And she's uh, like, it's a bit early to serve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, like honestly. You're a lunatic. <laughs> Jason, what's going on with you? Huh? Me, Bailey, and Gibber, we're here for you. Why won't you let us in? Here you can see that April does have a connection with Jason. Um, Even though he's been it's unrequited, he's yeah. in denial fully, isn't he? Yeah. And you can see her well. general concern. Maya's loving it <laughs> in her head. She's she's. She's actually kind of bad. She's fully loving the uh, drama. The yeah, yeah, real, yeah. Realize that we smiling throughout the whole thing. Like yeah, do it. <laughs> and the fact that he was about to tell the truth here, and she fully just walked off. I'd be so angry. Yeah, you're about to actually pour your heart out. But the fact that Gabriel keeps getting in the way of the truth coming out. Sorry. Yeah, again, you can see him being controlling. Yeah. And now she stays so calm with him. Like this I would have lost it, like. <laughs> and he's back to drinking. <laughs> still but this is why, out. yeah, yeah, this is why Maya had the problem in the first place, yeah. and he's still not learning, so. Yeah. In a way, you can kind of say it's, it's his fault. So this seems meant to highlight his alcohol problem and his mental health. Mm. And it is mainly about mental health because there is that theory we're saying where Maya's not really there in his head. It's just yeah. his actual consciousness. Tell, more, trying to tell him something. Yeah, more than her haunting him. Is, yeah. Because really, real life, there's no such thing as they're, they're, they're haunting someone, is there? So you can actually just bring it down to his consciousness. So this scene was amazing. My favourite scene. Really? Yeah. Because the drone. Oh. And yeah. The aerial <laughs> shot. Uh, yeah. And so many That was gears. different. It's, it's just those little different moments that makes it special. Instead of, oh, I don't think we overused the drone shots no. at all, did we? Yeah. She's finally ready to walk away. There it is. There it is. My question is, would she really walk away? 
Mm, I, I think, think a lot would. of people would be asking that question. Would she actually walk away? Or would she just do it and go back? I think she'd walk away because when she, April's character, when we wrote her character, we made her so stubborn and she wants something, she's going to get it. Mm, kind of yeah, but being annoying, not being strong minded. She wanted minded. answers. Yeah. When she wanted to get away and just talk. And, yeah, we see and it would keep and happening. Listening to the They would have an argument. Her, and this she'd is call. Where we'd meet. Up. And just talk for hours. Maybe sometimes all night. Until she was ready to get back. I never said. She never said. This was before we got serious. And Mia didn't want me to tell you because you had your own issues. You know, with your dad. And that was a rough patch for you. All right, so what happened? The more time we spent together, the more we got to know each other. And the more I hated what Jason was putting her through and resent her for not walking away. Anyways, one night, they must have had a really bad argument because she called and asked me to pick her up. I drove over there as fast as I could. And when I got there, yeah, she was waiting. Flash. <laughs> so when we shot this flashback, um, <clears throat> we actually shot the second half of the flashback, which you'll see later on first. And then we shot this one second. And in between this flashback, the car changed. <laughs> Did it really? Because <laughs> remember, it was blue. Oh, no. And then this car was black. So whose cars did we use? They were both my cars that were used. But I changed cars halfway through the, the, the production. Oh, okay. So there, there you are. There's the original car. Is that the black one? No, that's, that's the, blue, the one. blue one. And then when we shot that outside Donald's house, yeah. that car was oh, black. So we had a real problem of making sure... See, this is the original car. We're trying to make sure that we didn't actually see the car fully <laughs> in the second half of the show. Yeah, it was... Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of um, errors throughout this production, but you know, what, what was everyone saying? Fix it in post. <laughs> fix it, everyone left it down to me. Yeah, fix it in post. Just, you know, give me more work, it's fine. Oh, gosh. But yeah, shooting the flashback was good. Um, I really like the, fir the, the first half of the flashback where like, you see Jason peeping through the house mm. and Gabriel's there hogging Maya. I'm like, yeah, I got you, girl. Like, why is looking at him through the window? <laughs> that was unscripted, but when I watched it back, it was, I thought, yeah, it was fine. so good. It was. <laughs> and then here we're coming up to another this is climax. My... Oh, I love this! I love this. Yeah, Ooh. the big moment. Man said I must have pushed her too hard. <laughs> you think? I think he did a lot more than push her too hard. You think? I really like that round the shoulder shot. Thing is, all these cars passing in the background. Everyone's like, like, yeah, stopped. everyone's like, why did no one stop? Yeah. <laughs> I know, what was it? Chloe was always saying when she's going to the shops with the makeup on, people actually looking at her. Yeah. Like, are you okay? So in between scenes, she already yeah. had her full um, scar makeup on, but then she'd be like walking around, maybe taking a break or something. And because the public would see her, um, they would ask her, <laughs> you okay? Has someone hurt you? <laughs> That was so No, funny. no, no, I'm just filming. <laughs> Man, bearing in mind this is Corona times. Yeah. <laughs> this, yes. Love that look on his face, like, things is about to change. Walking. Yeah. The more the time we spent together, together, the more, the more we, got we got to know, know each other. other. She'd, She'd call... call this is where everything's rolling in, yeah. in his head, like, hearing those few key lines. <laughs> Did you see me in the mirror? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was bleeding out on the floor. I remember just hearing that, and I was just like, if I kept hearing that over and over again, I'd go crazy as I'll well. Lose it to you. And here we see her fully taking over. <laughs> oh man filming this again bright daylight but we tried to add a bit of 
red to right. signify how intense things are getting now. Mm. So that was the whole point of the the red, I think. Yeah, so at the beginning you realize you notice that it's like blue It's kinda of blue, yeah. And yeah. then over time it gets hotter more and hotter. intense. Yeah. And I think he thought he kinda of embraces it at times here. We see him actually laughing with it like yeah. he's he's lost his head, he's embracing it now. Um but what I realise is some points he questions it again and then she brings him back in like you need to do this and then hmm. So at this point Gabe um Jason has sent a text message inviting everyone to the party. If it wasn't to do with the lockdown I would have really liked to see the texts people Come through. Yeah and but we just didn't have time on our hands like this that With extras. Yeah, because of all the stuff that happened before, people dropping out, it kind of really cut the time yeah. available to film. Mm. I really like this back to normal. It's like a repeat. So we've done a full cycle. Yeah. Back on TV. the same day. Same time, and we just see like a difference Yay, in how everyone are. Everyone's kind of relaxed now. They think it's all good. I call you guys, and then you make me wait like. Um, Jason's throwing a party. <laughs> so gullible, man. When I look at, I just feel y'all are idiots, man. So <laughs> he's like, yeah, we're throwing a party, man. We're gonna celebrate. And he's back, and he's wearing colorful clothes. He looks mm, fresh. Just a complete makeover. Drinking his juice, not alcohol anymore. Well, yeah. alcohol anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's on his juice now. He's on a juice can. <laughs> he's on a juice can. Uh, <clears throat> what I really love here as well is the fact that uh, Gabriel still knows that there's something wrong, kind of. Yeah. He's asking about the Bermuda Woods. Yeah. Um, he doesn't want to go back there. Whereas so Bailey's exactly just the there. innocent person. It's like, leave it, man. Bermuda, that's the best place, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Even April stopped asking questions. <laughs> yeah, she's she's fully believing everything. No really needed it after the year we had. No problem. Bro, why Bermuda Woods, though? No, 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 no. Yo, Jason, sick idea to have the party at Bermuda, man. I'll see you guys tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, okay, sir. guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot off now. Um, I actually can't wait to see everyone tonight. Yeah. See you later, Jason. See you later, mate. Oh, well, we oh, definitely yeah, you will. You see the little mire in the in, in the, the background. Bottom as well. Yeah. That added in there. So. This is the day of the party. Um, you can just preparing. I've actually shot this scene first as well. Yeah. And the whole thing, we shot this first with the idea that this will be the first time Maya appears. And we were so wrong. <laughs> Probably shooting stuff backwards. I love that flash of her coming in and out as well. Yeah. With the red intensity. Like, if you notice, this is more red than the other so, shots. Yeah, so from the beginning of the film, we see more blue lighting and then it warms up Gradually and it gets hotter changes. and hotter. Yeah, this one's fully intense. Like, he's thinking he's got to do this. And that's where I realised, like, a lot of the times when I was talking about, like, him backing out limbo in between doing it and not, and, like, she's there reinforcing the fact that he needs to do it. Yeah. And then by the end, I think this is the second time where we see him start smiling, like, okay... Yeah, and he's back in that mode where I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I've got to do this. Yeah, because I realised that at the end, um, before they plan that scene where they plan the party, yeah, he was in that mode again where he's like, he doesn't know whether to, he wants to do it. She tells him to do it, and then yeah. he smiles with her. And then right. this is the same thing here. His conscience is coming yeah. through. And just, yeah, and then he's just completely the lost eyes. it. <laughs> the monster. The monster, the <laughs> beast. Killer. Everything about this shot was so good. Yeah. So good. The party. The final scene. The coldest day. <laughs> so cold. Um, Five this, hours. Yeah. Well, we filmed this last. And you see over time that um, working in production, morale just goes lower, lower, lower. 
But this day, <laughs> everyone was so enthusiastic. They were so on happy, it. Yeah. They were on it. I think they were just relieved it was the last day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people me. bring in towels. Yeah. Bring in drinks. Just <laughs> saying it's water, but it wasn't really it water. It was not water. <laughs> just like, yeah, we're, we're going to have our actual party. Here. Yeah. Um, that drone shot pan again, really nice. Uh, again, I got midday. some screen time as well. Yeah. As an oh, extra. Yeah. We oh. had troubles getting extras during the pandemic then. <laughs> There's our producer, yeah, and our makeup artist. Oh, and you see Jason, he looks fresh, he looks like a completely different man. And then Gabriel, prick. <laughs> Trying to say sorry, sorry man. Sorry <laughs> about so how sorry. What, what you what you heard and how it happened. Yeah. But Jason already knows the truth by this point. Yeah. Yeah, again, shooting in midday, having to make it pull it off to make it look like it's a night shot because no one wanted to film at night. We thought that's a bad idea to do at night because it would have been even colder. Yeah. yeah. Even though I went and got the lighting oh, yeah. for it. <laughs> we had no electricity outside. Um, so. But it was battery powered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shame. Cost me a few quid. <sighs> that's a shame. You'll mm -hmm. use it again. It's fine. God, I can't stand Gabriel it. trying to say enjoy the party. April's... Trying to tell him that something's wrong again. Yeah. But he's just like, nah, just enjoy yourself, man. Chill. So this is the very last scene of Act 3. Forgot to mention as well, people were just shouting stuff at us for that whole party scene as yeah. well yeah so there was a lot of it was a public <laughs> people... property public park so um uh, a lot of members of the public were just walking past and they could see us filming obviously when we see a camera and people get walk. excited yeah and i think it's the fact that we're shouting shots shots, shots. <laughs> like and we've yeah. got music on and, and people everything. are dancing yeah. and drinking so then the public was just like bogeys you know, <laughs> random guy people walking their dog and everything yeah so <laughs> we had some runners run past us as well. <laughs> Uh, so this is a repeat of the intro so we do it again at the end yeah and we had that running theme throughout the whole thing where something happens at the beginning we repeat we it we have to go back and repeat, repeat it, it the same way um, just to highlight the significance the contrast there but show some contrast yeah um, and then we're saying that we filmed this last uh, no this is the original idea of how we started voices yeah so when we was first um brainstorming ideas our idea was to let's film a horror let's film in the woods people getting killed and then we had to go back and write a storyline so the to end first to <laughs> what we wanted <laughs> yeah they were like ah oh, we now have to we add meat line. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah dan was enjoying himself here yeah. as jason putting his shoulder into them stabbings you don't see how quickly he switches from gun to knife as well. But if you pay close attention, you can mm. like just spot it. And then the continuing it here. Go on, TJ. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it was the fact that she was cold. So jacket on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off. Yeah. And, yeah, we were just cold. I, was, I understand, <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I don't know how we didn't know. We didn't. I don't know how we missed it. Like you went there. I, I was looking after the. Yeah, you you went for team. toilet breaks. Oh yeah. So here's another yeah, yeah. issue with filming in the woods. There are no bathrooms. <laughs> you had to drive everyone so, to the <laughs> toilet. Yeah. Yeah, April realizing she messed up. But if it was like a bigger production, we would have arranged like portaloos and stuff. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, well, BC, you give us some more budget, man. And <laughs> <laughs> Japan ain't enough. But a lot of people started GoFundMe pages. We didn't even have the time to do that. No. So like, ugh. we saw a deadline. Well, they gave yeah. us a deadline and we said, okay, well, our deadline's a month before that because we don't know what's going to mm, happen with yeah. COVID. It could become stricter. <clears throat> Just didn't want to take that risk. Gabriel came back. Yeah, and uh, he w he sees his girlfriend get killed, and he runs away. 
<laughs> that just shows what a coward he is. But he likes to be controlled at the yeah. same time. It's so funny. Yeah, I enjoyed filming the whole of this last bit. Just setting up the choreography. That's the, that's the thing I enjoyed the most was choreographing conflict. Yeah. It's gone. Same place. How poetic. Oh. Uh, when I talk about the chain in that part as well. Because I think people keep seeing the chain popping up. Yeah, so the chain is a big symbol throughout the whole thing. Um, in this film, Maya is always wearing the chain. It was given to her by Jason. But when she died, the chain went missing. The police didn't find it or anything. And then it was presumed that the killer took the chain. So the fact that he found it on Gabriel... And Gabriel was pretending like he didn't know a didn't damn thing. Anything. He's weird. He's a weirdo. Yeah. Why would he keep the chain? <laughs> <laughs> don't keep the evidence. Yeah, yeah that's it. don't keep the evidence. That's a rookie so, mistake. Here we see Jason finally relieved. Um, his mind's at peace. And again, it's that thing where was she really ever there? Or yeah. was it just his consciousness? So yeah. That that's concludes... That concludes the voices commentary. Sorry, was it my line? No, Jason. Jason. <laughs> 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 I thought he was doing the whole dramatic. Yeah, 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 yeah,